This is the FR Sky high precision variometer sensor, costing about $33 Australian. It has the old style connectors on the right side and the uh, S port style connector on the other side. To connect the Vario to the X series receivers, you need the female to female servo lead, and you just connect the smart port from the Vario to the smart port on the receiver. Vario's sense uh, barometric pressure so they can tell you when your glider is um, climbing or sinking um, and it can present that data by a series of beeps of different tones or by telling you the altitude. I'll show you how to set up the sounds and displays uh, using OpenTX Companion. You can do all of this on the radio, it's just easier to demonstrate uh, on the computer using Companion. So I have a, a new model opened up just for the demo and we go to the telemetry screen and in the altimetry area you choose vertical speed as the vario source. You can also change the, uh, the, the sync and climb limits for uh, when the beeps change pitch, or you can leave them as they are. To activate the Vario beeps, you need to go to Special Functions, choose the switch you want to use, in this case the uh, D switch in the middle position, and you choose Vario from Actions, then it's up and ready to go. If you don't like the default pitch of the beeps, you can change them in the radio setup screen. Uh, it's a long press of the menu button and scroll down to variometer, change the volume, the pitch at zero, the pitch at maximum, uh, climb and the uh, beep frequency as well. Or you can leave them as they are. Next I'm going to set up the uh, spoken altitude values. So again we choose the switch we're going to use, S, the D switch in the down position in this case, play value and select the value you want to play and it's uh, alt or altitude right down the bottom of the list there and then you select how often you want it to repeat. Zero meters. To record the telemetry logs onto the SD card, uh, you need to set that up in special functions as well. I'm choosing the whenever the D switch isn't in the up position, it'll be recording the SD logs. Choose SD logs from the actions and choose how frequent you want the data points to be recorded. This is once every second. So you can look at the telemetry logs later on in um, Companion and this is an example of the altitude from a discus launch glider. To set up the telemetry screens on the Tyrannus, you go to uh, scroll down to the telemetry screens, choose numbers or bars, whatever you want. Numbers are better, I think. And then choose which values you want to display on the screen. Uh, for this one, I'm choosing the maximum altitude reached, which is Alt Plus, uh, and the current altitude. Uh, and the flight timer over on the other side of the screen. Now I'll simulate that uh, to show you what it would look like on the radio. A long click of the page button gets you to the telemetry screen and that shows the maximum altitude reached, the current altitude and the time of the flight. Because the Vario works on barometric pressure you need to reset the telemetry to get accurate um, altitude data. So a long press of the enter button, you can either reset the flight, which resets everything, or just reset the telemetry, 